Uh, for months, we've been telling you about how the Ukraine-Russia war triggered an energy crisis and its impact across Europe, especially in Germany. Let me give you a quick recap of how dependent Germany was on Russian gas. Russia was Germany's top gas supplier before the start of the war in Ukraine. 55% of the gas consumed in Germany was imported from Russia. Currently, very little gas is flowing from Russia to Germany through any of the three pipelines that connect the two countries. Russia's state-owned energy company Gazprom has said a key pipeline carrying natural gas to Europe will shut down for three days to undergo, to undergo routine maintenance. The unscheduled maintenance of the pipeline which runs under the Baltic Sea to Germany is deepening Germany's energy woes. Germany has said that it needs foreign gas supplies, and without them, nothing works. Berlin says it expected more Russian gas to flow through Nord Stream 1 once the maintenance was concluded. The gas storage is a buffer we have. It evens something out. Without Dutch, Belgian, Norwegian and soon French gas via German LNG terminals, nothing works. The position of the Bundesnitzer Gunter remains unchanged. We continue to expect more Russian gas. As you know, the Russian president announced a maintenance gestures for August 31st. We will see what the consequences of this maintenance will be. Right now, no one is able to say, but it would help Germany's supply reliability if afterwards at least 20% of Russian gas would flow. If Gazprom resumes gas deliveries at 40% of the capacity before the maintenance break, Germany will narrowly scrape through the winter without shortages. There is pressure on Berlin to reduce its gas consumption. Under current plans, private households, care homes and hospitals will be protected from gas rationing, which means the brunt of the reductions would have to be made by German industries that account for a third of the country's gas use. And this crisis has widened Germany's north-south political divide, with politicians from Lower Saxony in the north on one side and from Bavaria in the south on the other. State premiers are trading sharp remarks about the energy resources. And facing heat, the federal government is looking to find alternatives to Russian gas and oil also weighing in. The latest row was triggered by the Bavarian state premier, Marcus Soder who said that instead of pestering him about wind farm rules, Germany should consider fracking for shale gas reserves in Lower Saxony. The no northern state has some potential gas reserves near its western borders and has engaged in fracking to exploit them since the 1960s. But in 2016, the method was banned nationwide as it is considered to be one of the most environmentally damaging methods of obtaining energy. The Lower Saxony Premier, Stefan Well, hit back in a tweet saying, how about some wind power in Bavaria? The Federal Economy and Climate Protection Minister, Robert Habeck, also jumped in. The Green Party leader criticized the Bavarian policy, blaming Bavaria for Germany's potential energy shortages this winter. He said the southeastern region failed to diversify its renewable energy resources and focused too much on solar energy. So there and his party, the conservative Christian Social Union, did not take the remarks too well, claiming that Bavaria was a pioneer of renewable energy. What Germany planned for its energy transition was once fairly clear to compensate the southern states for the loss of nuclear and coal power. Germany was to build more power lines linked northing, uh, linking northern and southern power grids, but Bavaria opposed the new power lines. The people of the state saw it as an intervention to their natural environment and thought they could produce enough energy in the state. So for the German Chancellor, Olaf Scholz, the trouble is only mounting. Not only does he have a looming energy crisis to deal with this winter, he also could struggle to contain this domestic divide over the crisis. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.